now in RTN and I'm waiting for Jeffrey. Um, we're supposed to have an, like, an interview session for Christmas like, uh, right now. So I'm still waiting outside of the studio because I can't really go inside because I don't have like a tag, like a staff tag and I don't want to sound weird by walking here. So I'll see you, um, I'll show you guys what's inside later. So today is a very hectic day. It's a very, there's like a lot of things going on today. Uh, I have like five things to do today and I've done like two things. There's like three more. One is this one and then there's another one with, there's a collab with a friend I met on Instagram and I will go, I'll tell you guys more about it later. And after that, I'll be going to an event, I think hosted by Andy, Andy Pei. If you don't know who it is, he's a photographer in Kuching and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some shots over there and don't think I'll be vlogging. So yeah, today's a very productive day. Okay, so I'm still, still waiting for Jackie Jack from Red FM. I didn't actually tell you guys what was going on the last time I'm here, but it's just a simple interview last time. It's like for a new session. So now it's for Christmas. Hi guys, um, my name is Jerry. I'm a local YouTuber, uh, freelance photographer, videographer. Oh, starting with what Christmas meant. What does Christmas meant to me? Christmas meant a lot for me. For my belief, I believe that Christmas is the day. How was it, Renee? I died! <laughs> I died! I died! So, this is Renee. Uh, she's my junior. And then she's. Um, it's like, it's like it's a coincidence that she's like interning here and I didn't know that she's here actually. I'm so. surprised Jerry, I, 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 I plan to surprise him today. <laughs> Jerry, you're here. <laughs> well, you, well, you did. <laughs> yeah, good to see you, Renee. Thank you, good, good to see you too. Okay. And the camera, yeah. hi. Hi. <laughs> we have Ifa over here. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay, see you guys. And it looks like we have come to the end of the show. Uh, thank you so much, Rudis, for your time and support and wishing all the ladies, uh, all my Christian friends out there, all Srakians, all Malaysians, a very Merry Christmas. So this is Jeffrey. Hello. Hi, from Red FM. That's right. So And we have just uh, finished recording uh, this year's uh, Christmas program. Okay, it's called uh, Christmas Joy 2018. It will be broadcast on the 25th of December. Right. Time, uh, you know, I will confirm with you again. Okay. <laughs> Let's so, go. Um, you um, did very well. Uh, yeah, is you it? You did very well, yes. All of you did very well. Yeah. Oh, go, go. I did not Anyway, thank yeah. you so much, guys. Uh, Jerry, right. uh, Ifa, and also uh, Renee. Okay, you guys have, you know, you guys are awesome. Thank you very right. much for your kind thank cooperation. You. Thanks for having me, man. Yep. And right. uh, check out our Facebook page, uh, Red FM English RTM Sarawak. Okay, to uh, if you want to know uh, the time of uh, broadcast for the program. Okay, Christmas uh, Joy 2018 on Red FM, 25th of December. All right, see you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> so that's uh, Valerie, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's Valerie. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Ifa. Yeah, no, those Renee. are those yes. are my juniors. Mm -hmm, juniors. So, so they're having that's a session then? Or? Yes. Uh, actually, you know, they just uh, go there and uh, try to disturb uh, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> How could you guys? Come no, on. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good in terms. <laughs> 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 Okay, Bye. let's go. Let's go. Oh no! Pretty good section with Red FM and uh, a surprise visit from my juniors. And yeah, I didn't know, didn't thought that I would actually meet them. Okay, I didn't thought that I'm gonna meet them like after graduation, like after like when I finish school and stuff so yeah now it was like around 12 i'll be heading downtown i'm gonna meet up with a friend like i mentioned just now I'm, uh, i met him from instagram so yeah a lot of fun stuff going on today man i didn't thought i would be vlogging but yeah today feels like a good day to vlog so yeah let's go see you rtm Shit. Shit. Well, no pink, no pink slip is gonna ruin my day. 
So I always say that gear doesn't really matter, which I would have made more. So I always say that gear doesn't really matter. What's more important is that you have the passion to do what you love. So today is the ultimate test to see whether if I'm wrong or whether if the statement is true. So I met this guy on Instagram. His Instagram name is Oni Chan. I don't know if you know him or not. He's a he's a local Kuching photographer. And when I first see his photos, the only thing that came in mind is that what camera is he using? And in his post, when I scroll it down, right, I see that he's shooting with a Google Pixel 2. So I'm like, mind blown, man. Like, a guy can take DSLR quality pictures with a phone. So after seeing that he has all these cool, beautiful pictures that I just have to meet him, which is today. And today is the first time that I actually meet him. I don't know whether if he's comfortable with like being in front of the camera or not. So today we see. And yeah, let's go. So this is Im, Im right? Um, I am. So Im, uh, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Ahmad Zaid. Call me Im. I'm 31 years old. I'm studying at UTM as content. Why? Why do you choose the Google Pixel over a camera? Oh, because Google Pixel very easy to use. Uh, you just take a picture and Google software. You handle it, right? Do the magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you planning on getting a camera soon? Mm, yes. Cool. Hey, wait, you already have one, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, right. uh, yeah, cool. So he has a camera already. Um, he got the Sony, man. Ooh! <laughs> he also switched to Sony, yo. Team Sony. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, Im, do you know what are we doing today? Mm, not really. Okay. okay. So, um, me and Im, we're gonna do like the ultimate shootout between the camera and like the phone. <laughs> I'm being bossy today, you know why? <laughs> so, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, so this is a um, Google Pixel 2, right? Okay, so um, I'm gonna do a comparison between this and this because, like I mentioned earlier in the video, just wanna see like whether is you really that important or like can you just use like something like this and then it'll be good. So we put it to the test. And then um, instead of just the comparison, we're gonna like do an ultimate shootout, like the battle, the shootout to death. <laughs> something, something like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we were, we're waiting for our models. They're in the toilet now, um, doing their stuff. Okay, stuff. And yeah, we. We'll, I will see you guys in the location that we're gonna shoot later. Is it okay? Is it challenge okay? Yes. Yes, All right, man. Do this. So this is Wawa, and this is Lily. So Wawa is gonna be our mother. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> so each of us gonna take like ten minutes. It's gonna take like ten minutes. I'm gonna take like ten minutes with the model, and this is gonna be like three. We're gonna go like three spots. Um, after this one, this is like this is one of the spots right here, the King Cool. And then we are gonna review them and then just give out our thoughts and then Wawa is gonna review it as well. So um, let's see how it goes. So I'm um, switching over to B Cam. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch over to B Cam. Um, this cam is gonna be like the B roll and vlog cam for now. Because I'll be using my Sony A7 III to shoot. So yeah, let the challenge begin. Woo! Let's go! So Im just finished the shoot! Yeah man! It's my turn. So I'm gonna pass this camera to him. He's gonna shoot me shooting Wawa. So we're done with the shoot, and then now Im is gonna Im is gonna show Wawa uh, his picture first, and then I will show her my pictures. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's like <"Hey>, my pictures, man. <laughs> but that's a good sign. <laughs> From the quality of the like camera and phone, like which one do you prefer? Yours. Fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like we're gonna do like a simple comparison. Uh. We're gonna find like a like a photo where it's like similar. Like we have like similar angles, and then just see 
how it actually looks like. Okay, so I have this uh, focus, yeah, and him has this. I don't know. Um, I can't really tell, but it's like for me, it's like the bokeh is actually more, more bokeh, more bokeh, <laughs> more bokehlicious, bokehlicious on um, the camera. Seven three, bro. <laughs> but this is Google Pixel two, bro. Okay, so the bokeh here for me is like. It's not. It's more artificial. It doesn't look like it's uh, real. That that's for my my taste. But it's actually okay uh. I mean, for your phone, it's easier to bring around, so it's easier. But what about you, man? I like a seven three more. Why? Because the quality, the detail. Okay, let me let me take a closer look. Yeah, it definitely captures more detail. Uh. Yeah. But then I I'm not sure. It's like it's really very hard to tell. Uh, Okay, you can see that the, the what do you call that? The, the dynamic range, yeah, dynamic range for the camera is actually more. Um, so I, I, it's hard, like it's really hard to tell unless I edit the photos to like similar colors. I'll probably do that in the studio. So in the meantime, I'm gonna show you the raw one right now. So let me know what you, what you think, uh, whether you prefer the S7 III or the Google Pixel 2. So yeah, both of them are great cameras and like they have like um, good quality. They take very good quality pictures. So yeah, I think I will talk to you at the studio. Thank you so much, Im, for joining the collab, man. So yes. that's it. Thank you. So um, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram. It's gonna be here, uh, around here right now. Uh, not here, here. <laughs> <laughs> and then thank you so much, Wawa, for being here, our model. It's actually pretty good, you know. It's like it's very easy to shoot. It's like some of the models that I've I've, I've encountered don't really know how to pose, so it's like it's very awkward to pose. Uh, but this one is like really does a very good job, man. So thanks so much and thanks Lily for being here. <laughs> so thanks Lily for being uh, for taking care of our backs. And yeah, thanks everyone. Hope you like this video. I'm gonna talk to you at the studio right now. What an amazing day today. What a very productive day today. Oof. So this is nothing to do with the title of the video, but I just want to mention this. So today, the 13th of December, I've done seven things today. Okay, let me list it out to you. I didn't actually vlog everything. This is how my day goes today. First, I went to the gym. Then went to campus to sign some forms. Then I went to Wear FM. Then I met up with him, which is like in the video. Then I went to a photographer meetup, photographer videographer meetup which is absolutely amazing it's like it's very wonderful to see like people actually meeting up like in person we always follow each other on instagram or like social medias i mean this is more common among youtubers but i never see any event for like photographers or videographers that they met online and it was amazing it was an amazing experience for me i get to meet some old and new friends over there it's just it's just it's just a wonderful night and then I uploaded a video. I went to Registry with my friends to hang out. So overall, it's like seven things I did today. I just want to give a quick mention for this. And I just want to mention this quickly. It's just that, because I always think to myself that there's so much to do in so little time. So that actually makes me procrastinate in some of the stuff that I actually wanted to do. But today proves that statement wrong. I can do a bunch of things with limited time as long as I plan it well throughout my day. Like for example, I plan out my morning routine to go to the gym and then after that I will be going to campus and then Red FM. Everything schedules perfectly in today which is like very amazing for me to see like this thing actually happens to me like today. Like going to Red FM can be only happen in one day and then the rest of the day I'm just free. But then I managed to plan out my day and then just go accordingly. It just gives me a new perspective, a new way in seeing time management and a new way to see life and how you should live your life anyway today makes you feel that there's more to life there's a lot of things you do in like every single day you just have to plan it out like i said and if you plan out nicely you can definitely achieve it you can definitely do it so if you're still waiting for that moment to do something let me tell you don't wait for it and just do it plan it out and then you'll be surprised with the outcome so not to stray away from the topic again i this is like my bad habit but yeah i don't want to let the title judge how this video is going to be because the title is what it is and then 
it doesn't mean they have to go that way. And because, like I said earlier, things can go like different ways, and like you can do like different things in one day. So, so it doesn't mean that I can only do one thing in one video. I can do a lot of things in one video. So that's what I'm trying to say, you guys. And I hope that you can learn something from my experience. And for the comparison of the Google Pixel 2 with my Sony A7 III, I was supposed to edit them and then just put them side by side comparison to show you guys. I actually wanted to review them right now, but I'm freaking tired. <laughs> now it's like around 12. I actually wanted to give you an in-depth thoughts of like the color science or like the dynamic range and like the like all of those like technical stuff. But then in the end, all I can say is that regardless of the camera, if you can get the shot perfectly, if your composition is good enough, then I think there's no problem at all. You don't have to see the detail, the quality of all that, but sometimes you do have to. But some cases when you're not printing out a poster or like printing out to a billboard or something, then, then yeah, it should be fine. You can go very far from the pictures that you can take with your phone, man. With the quality pictures from the Google Pixel 2, it's just amazing to see how far technology has taken us to a point where you can't really tell whether if that picture is from a DSLR or from like a phone. But yeah, I'm not gonna be the judge of it because everyone have different opinions and everyone have like different styles, everyone have different likes. But overall for me, I actually really like the picture from the Google Pixel 2. I mean definitely my camera takes better pictures. I mean in terms of like the detail and stuff. If someone were to give me the Google Pixel 2 to shoot some stuff, then I would be happy to do it. I would take the Google Pixel 2 over a freaking camera to shoot like stuff it's easier to operate and then it's like it's very convenient it's lightweight and then you can get like quality pictures out of it like seriously regarding the convenience and then the quality that you can get from like the smartphone that like, it doesn't get any better than that so yeah i actually did an outro already back in carpenter street and i'm going to sleep right now so back to bcat i'll see you guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share like this video and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't stop creating and keep on creating. Peace out. <laughs> okay. Woo.